Hey everybody, it's your girl Odds back with another YouTube video. I am coming to y'all today with a wig review, honey, okay? Starring Elva Hair. This is my first time ordering for this company, so I'm super excited and I think y'all gonna love this wig. So, I am gonna do an unboxing, so from start to finish, so y'all can see everything that this wig comes with. And how I style it, how I wear it, everything. So, I apologize, y'all, for the quality of the video as well. Trust me, towards the end, it's going to get better and y'all going to love it. So, here is the wig. It comes in a little plastic bag. You also get a pack of nude wig caps. Thank you very much. You get a elastic band in case you want to sew the elastic band across the wig. A rat tail comb that has the metal uh, rat tail and then you get like this promotion card that comes with it and it basically just tells you more about the company it tells you um, some stuff about Instagram and promotions stuff like that so I did y'all buy a curly wig um, it's natural it's human hair it's in a 12 inch I believe everything in the description below <laughs> it is a wig uh not a it's a wig sorry y'all but it is a lace front it's not full lace but you get some lace in the front and you get some lace in the back so as i struggle with taking this net off you can get into the curls so y'all see the back you get a little bit of lace and you get a comb back there so that's one then you get two three four total wig combs that are in it that you can use and the construction of the inside of the wig is pretty basic you get a lot of spot up uh, to do a part do parting space it already comes with this little bit of parting space um the hair doesn't necessarily need to be plugged as you can see around the hairline but i mean you could pluck a little bit if you wanted to but it comes pre-plucked so it's not necessary so let's go ahead and wash this thing. So y'all, y'all see how big this hair can get, okay? So I am just, I combed the hair out with a, a wig brush and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna shampoo the wig a couple times and we gonna style it. So what I am going to use and I'm not getting, I'm going to use the, sorry y'all the main choice and i know y'all can't see it i'm sorry i'm sorry but it's the main choice easy on the curls detangling hydration shampoo and it's a great shampoo for curly hair but what i'm just going to do is i am taking the shampoo and i'm just finger finger combing the wig like from the root all the way to the end just to get the hair fully covered so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick quick rinse it's really important that when you are washing curly hair that you are washing it going downward and not with like the wig upside down it's also important that you don't like scratch it like crazy because you just don't want to mess up the wig or especially when it's curly you don't want to start making tangles because then you're gonna have to detangle it you probably gonna get some shedding and it's gonna be it just ain't gonna be right so wash the hair like this where you're just pulling the shampoo through the hair and not creating too many tangles I'm not getting any tangles while I'm doing this and I'm not getting any shedding either so that right there is the conditioner it's the same conditioner um, it's the main choice easy on the curls conditioner I'm just gonna take a little bit of that same concept rub it through the ends of my hair all the way to the tip and I'm going to rinse it out when I rinse it I am going to use some cool water I'm gonna make sure that my water is not too hot so that I close the cuticle on the hair so let's get to styling that's just a little bit of water after I dried the hair with a t-shirt, I put it on a mannequin, added some T-pins in it so it'll stay, and I'm just going to spray my hair with some water. 
um, what I am doing right here is I am going to give me some baby hairs now I'm not a big baby hair person but for the sake of this wig I think that I do want to have a little bit of baby hairs um, out on the side so yeah let's pull me some baby hairs out and it's, I'm not pulling out much either and I'm just taking my that is my razor comb and I'm just going in and just cutting. I'm not doing anything fancy or spe spectacular. I'm just pulling some hair out. And I'm doing it on the other side as well. This side was a bit more challenging. Because I felt like it wasn't much hair or something on this side. Like, I wasn't trying to pull out too much. But I think I feel like this side was a little bit more plucked than the other side of the wig so this was this part was a little bit more of a struggle but like I said I don't want a ton of baby hairs out anyway and I'm going in with my razor comb and just cutting it just cutting it And so now what I'm doing is I'm just going to create myself a part. I think I want to do a side part in this hair. So I'm creating a parting space. And I'm taking my Lotta Body Wrap Phone. This is my favorite wrap phone. I love it. And I'm going to kind of mold my hair. So I'm going to put some wrap phone around my part so that it lays flat. And I'm going to add some wrap phone to my baby hairs. This is going to allow me to mold my baby hairs in place. So that I don't have to like have them gelled down or glued down or anything like that. They'll just kind of, when I put the wig on, they'll just kind of lay and they'll stay in place. This was a good little trick that I picked up from a friend of mine. So I'm just going to use this method to lay my, lay my baby hairs down. And like I said, this side was a little more challenging and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just taking some, um, I'm just making some little chili pepper, little chili pepper sideburns on this side, some little, some little swoopies. And boom. So now it is time to add my curl product. I am using the product called Curl Max. And I am going to add probably about mm, maybe a quarter or a little bit more size um, amount. And I'm just going to rub it through my hair from the roots all the way to the tip. This is what's going to give my hair the curls that I want. And I'm just going to take this wig brush and I'm going to brush the product all the way through. Y'all look at these curls. Like it's so beautiful or whatever. And I just love it. It's not like a kinky curl. It's like a curly curl. But I'm just going to make sure it's brushed all the way through around my face and at the ends. Because that's where I want it to be really curly. So. Hey y'all. <laughs> Let's move on to putting this wig on. It has sat and it has air dried for like two days. So I'm ready to put it on and see how it works. So I am taking my LA Girl Pro Finishing Powder and I'm going to add it to the inside of my wig. So you can do this a bunch of different ways. Like me, I'm just going to take some powder and I'm just going to press it in around um, where my part is going to show. Some people can bleach the knots, you can spray um, around there, but as you can see, I just chose... I'm not going to do the most. I, I just chose to put a little bit of concealer right there. So, I am. that's the back of the wig where we're going to cut the lace off. And I think this is back here in case you like wanted to wear your hair up. Then you would have that lace right there. So, but we don't need that. Get that out of here. Y'all, look at the hair. <laughs> do y'all see the curls or whatever? And it fits perfectly. Like, it's big head friendly. Um, the lace fits across my hairline perfectly. So, y'all, it's good. So, here comes me now cutting the front part of the lace. This is always a little bit challenging for me, especially cutting it while it's on. I know a lot of people think that's easier. 
but I'm just going to cut the lace off in the front make sure you push your hair back and that you're not actually cutting your baby hairs or any of the other hairs that's left out but I rather cut too little than cut too much so take your time when you do this you may have to go back in and cut more if you need to so I already did one side I'm going in with the last side the other side and um, like I said your part your cutting doesn't have to be straight across you want it to look like a natural hairline so as y'all see boom so what we need to do now we need to make this stick on our head so that's my got to be glue like I said you can use got to be glue you can actually use like wig glue you can use just the elastic band and not have it stuck on your head any kind of way but I'm just taking a little bit of my got to be glue I'm letting it dry I'm the type of person that at night I like to take my wigs off I'm not trying to have it glued down hardcore so I'm putting the wig back on and y'all it's fitting lovely look at the part look at the part it looks great I'm making sure that my sides are down and y'all see how the baby hairs just kind of lay there I don't have to glue them down or anything like that y'all look at the curls here I go fluffing them I mean come on yes give it to me okay let me give y'all like a little 360 or whatever so y'all can see how it's popping see all the curls in the back y'all I love this wig get into it I'm gonna leave all the descriptions in the back y'all everybody thinks this is my hair I just think that y'all would love this wig it's affordable and look how cute it is yeah so thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this Mwah! until next time bye